today I'm making oxtail stew, oxtail, and so these are the ingredients: onion, allspice berries, parsley, scallion, tomato, scotch bonnet, and that's for the seasoning. And I season it with um, the the meat with all those things overnight. But first, I did soak it with lime and salt, and that's how we wash the meat in the Caribbean to take any rawness off, as we call it, <laughs> or any freshness off. Um, I also put some ginger, you see coming up there in the corner, and garlic. So, that is my seasoning for the oxtail. Okay, and here you see the oxtail has been washed and left in lime and salt. And now I'm just putting some pepper in it after draining the water. With the lime and salt, I'm cutting up some scallions, some parsley, um, some garlic, smashing it to get the skin off. That's how I peel it the most effectively, I find. And yeah, chopping it up. And then we see the onion coming up soon. And then I just put it in a bowl with the oxtail, no water, and leave it overnight to think about itself. <laughs> Okay, so here I'm just adding some reggae reggae sauce, which has a lot of Worcestershire in it. Um, it's by Levi Roots, but we didn't have any Worcestershire sauce, so I added that. This is Bajan seasoning that I'm also adding in here. And some adobo, which is really important. I cook with it all the time. It's a Spanish um, seasoning. And this is a secret recipe ingredient, ketchup. I'm sorry it's blocking, but tomatoes go in. Um, I'm doing the parsley together. The tomato ketchup is a big thing um, in the secret department. That's all the scallion, onion, garlic, and here I'm scraping up the ginger to add in as well. And these are the allspice berries. Oh, finally I realized the ketchup's in the way. Uh, so those are the allspice berries and the rest of the ingredients are scotch bonnet and onion. Here we go. That's just a regular white onion. Um, not very big one, but that's what I like to use. And I'm just mixing it with my hands quickly. Get it all mixed up in there. Not sure about the lighting. <laughs> there you go. I'm just putting down some oil here. And to this oil, I'll add brown sugar so that I can make. Hi, guys! <laughs> forgot to say hi, so that I can make a nice browning sauce for the um, oxtail. So I don't buy browning, I make my own out of brown sugar and oil. So this is on and it's gonna get hot gradually and I have to watch it really carefully. This is probably the hardest part of oxtail. So um, I want the sugar to get brown but not burn, you know? So this is the hardest part. Welcome to my channel, Lani Mukbangi. Okay, so now to the oil, I'm adding brown sugar and I'm waiting for it to get brown and frothy, more like amber color. And I'm explaining how it has to develop bubbles and I'm using a dry wooden spoon, um, which I use because I don't want to ruin la crusette pot, which I love so much. <laughs> um, but it has to be very dry so you don't get any um, splashing up of it. So this is the wooden spoon I'm using and here I'm stirring it up and watching it really carefully. This is a really, really hard part. I'm saying that the oxtail is right here, very close by, ready to go in. Um, and so there you go. You see that it's getting that amber color. After a little while, it's just really developing properly and you can add as much sugar as you need to. And here I'm putting in the oxtail very carefully. This is the scariest part for me. <laughs> like every time it gets me, I just get so scared of this part. So here I am putting it all in. Um, and I will t stir it around a lot, a lot, a lot so that it gets coated on all the sides. And that's where you get that rich color of the oxtail from the browning. So we want to make sure we get it all over the oxtail. I'm going to let it spring its own juices now. Um, I'm going to cover it for 10 minutes and let it spring its own juices. I'm pleased that this pot is big enough because I was going to do it in a deep pot, but it's better to have a lot of surface area on the pot. I'm sorry I'm crouching down, but I don't have a 
a lot of vantage point on this camera. So yeah, so that's good. So I'm gonna let this cook for 10 minutes and um, it's pretty crazy because the sugar gets so sticky, but you want that. And so now it's gonna spring its own juices and it's gonna caramelize even more and it will become looser, the sugar. So we leave it for 10 minutes, okay. I'm just getting ready. Oh, <laughs> shaking up this coconut milk. I'm just getting ready for when I, it smells so good. Like it smells like scotch bonnet in here, which I love. It's so good. So here's the water. I'm just gonna add that one time so I don't forget to do that. Okay, that's good. Okay, so you can see here that it's all reduced. Everything's gone really brown, except we have some oil left back, which is the oil we started with, which is fine. And I'm gonna go now in with the coconut milk. So there's the coconut milk. Just gonna pour it in. Okay. Okay, so here I'm just adding the rest of the seasonings, um, the tomato, the scallion, the onion, the garlic, the ginger. I'm just getting some help here to pour it all in to make sure that it's all mixed in properly. And I'll stir it around a little bit, add some carrots for sweetness and some lovely butter beans also. Um, that's a big part of the Jamaican recipe is butter beans and these are nice big ones. So I've added those in there and I'll just stir it around again. Oh, still, still cooking. Um, we're just going on the two hour mark now. One thing I forgot to mention is thyme. Okay. There's a lot of thyme in there. Forgot about that. Very important for Caribbean cooking. Thyme. You can see that it's kind of tough, right? So that means you have to cook it down more. So we let this reduce and then we add water if we have to. We're going to make it really tender. So this is it. Finished. cooking here. So that's our meal. We should have a bowl for the bone. Be careful the spice berries. And the time. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. As you might have noticed, I also did fried plantain with a special coating that I do. And I'm going to put the link in the description box of this oxtail recipe video for the plantain recipe because I have other footage of how I did that that I will work on now. And then um, the description box will have the link to that separate video. Okay, thanks a lot for watching. Lani Mukbangi, and I'll see you next time. Bye.